Harry Styles is shamed on Twitter. Taylor Swift calls out Scooter Braun and gives a scary update about her masters. We've got the tea on three of the latest entertainment news stories to share with you guys today. I'm your host, Bree Room. And I'm your other host, Mackenzie Smith. Don't forget to leave a like on this video to support our channel. And let's get into this news. So just a couple days ago, the photos from Harry Styles' Vogue shoot were released, and I have to say, my dude is looking immaculate. Chef's kiss, S-tier gorgeousness. So many people were here for these photos, and I mean, can you blame them? Harry has made history being the first solo male to be featured on the cover of Vogue, but though this is a huge accomplishment, not everyone sees it that way. There was one person who wasn't too thrilled about Harry's Vogue shoot, specifically how he wore a dress for the cover shot. Candace Owens, an American conservative author had to share her thoughts on the singer's looks via Twitter and it got heated. Candace tweeted out in response to Harry Styles' photo shoot saying, quote, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time as Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. This is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. End quote. This response made Candace the Twitter equivalent of public enemy number one as her tweets started trending, bringing in the hordes of the internet to Harry's defense. She sent out a number of tweets defending her views on what men should wear and saying that human civilization depends on it. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I digress. In response, a lot of celebrities shot back at Candace. Stars like Jamila Jamil, Olivia Wilde, and Elijah Wood backed Harry's Vogue look and shut down Candace's remarks. The overall theme of their response is being something along the lines of being manly is defined by the individual, that masculinity doesn't have to be brawny and tough, and that Candace's views are pathetic. That last one comes from Olivia Wilde. In response to the backlash she was receiving following her trending tweet, Candace shot back saying, quote, since I'm trending, I'd like to clarify what I meant when I said bring back manly men. I meant bring back manly men. Terms like toxic masculinity were created by toxic females. Real women don't fake feminism. Sorry, I'm not sorry." End quote. Other critics online have justifiably pointed out that there are much bigger issues at hand that she can be focusing her time towards. We're still in a pandemic, police brutality is still a thing, the climate crisis deserves some attention, and the situation in the US regarding the election and all of that political unrest needs attending to as well. Harry Styles killing it on the cover of Vogue wearing a Gucci dress and talking about how he sometimes likes to wear women's clothing is the least of anyone's worries at the moment. The idea of masculinity and femininity are social constructs that really don't matter, so wear whatever the hell you want. So next up, we have a really crazy update about Taylor Swift and her music. If you remember, Taylor Swift has been battling Scooter Braun ever since he purchased her old recording label, Big Machine Records, and purchased her catalog of masters along with it. And she has been desperate to get a hold of the masters ever since. However, in an extremely shady move, Scooter has just sold the masters to a private equity company called Shamrock Holdings. And he's making it clear that Taylor will never be able to own her masters. And since Taylor likes to give a voice to these issues and keep her fans informed, she shared an update to her fans about what went on in the negotiations. She started off the very long note by saying that she has been trying to get a hold of her masters since they were sold. And because of this, she has been in negotiations with Braun. But she said it was clear that Scooter had no intention to actually sell the masters to her once he asked her to sign an ironclad NDA that would ban her from ever speaking about him in a negative light ever again. With the note reading, quote, I would have to sign a document that would silence me forever before I could even have a chance to bid on my own work. My legal team said this is absolutely not normal and they've never seen an NDA like this presented unless it was to silence an accuser by paying them off. Adding, quote, he would never even quote my team a price. These master recordings were not for sale to me. Swift also shared that the company that bought the music, Shamrock Holdings, contacted her to tell her about the sale. And a part of the sale was that Shamrock had no contact with Swift or her team to warn her about the sale. She also said that she learned that even though her masters were sold to this new company, Braun would still benefit financially for years to come. And that's why Taylor has no interest in partnering with Shamrock Holdings now, with her even including a letter that she sent to Shamrock where she said that she would not benefit Scooter directly or indirectly. And because of this, she will not be working with them. And then she dropped some amazing news that fans have been waiting to hear, that Taylor will be re-recording her old music, which she said, quote, has already proven to be both exciting and creatively fulfilling. I have plenty of surprises in store. 
which of course would make the masters that were just sold far less valuable. And I'm assuming that's why Braun decided to sell them in the first place. And honestly, this whole thing is just so infuriating and just proves how corrupt the music business really is. But I'm hoping that stars like Taylor and Kanye speaking out about this will be able to change the way the business is done in the future, hopefully. I guess we'll kind of just have to wait and see. And lastly, we got some TikTok news. So Charlie D'Amelio is one of the most famous teens on earth right now, and she just surpassed 99 million followers on the app TikTok. But Charlie is only 16, and along with being the most famous and beloved person, she also deals with tons of hate. It was so bad at one time that her bio read, I don't get the hype either, referencing people saying that she doesn't deserve her fame. And now Charlie is addressing the claims that instead of glowing up over time, she's actually glowed down, and looks worse now than she did when she first got famous. Her and her sister Dixie talked about it on their podcast, Two Chicks. Dixie brought it up by saying, I saw this video of you from the beginning of quarantine and you look so different. Not in a bad way, but back then you had eyelashes and you looked really tan. Then Charlie responded that she has seen people saying that she's glowed down, but asked people what exactly they want her to do about it. Then Dixie said that trolls say that about everyone, and Charlie's better now because she really likes how she looks. Dixie continued adding, I think it's because your hair changed. I'm not sure how a four inch haircut changed you that much. Then Charlie added that she hates how she looks now because she wants to look how she did back then. Continuing, but then when I look like that, I didn't like it. So what do the trolls want me to do? Just be sad? Then she clapped back at the trolls, adding, because it gave me confidence and the trolls liked me when I was fragile. They are scared of a confident woman, which is honestly just so true. Trolls just hate confident people in general that aren't affected by what people say. And hopefully the sisters will get to the point of not caring pretty soon. All right, so that's all for the stories. And now let's get to some comments from our last weekly roundup. Sophia says, everyone should wear a suit next weekly roundup. Suit up just like Barney Stinson said. I mean, I guess this this is our, our memo because we never get the memo. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a no from me, dog. I don't I don't even know if I own a suit that actually fits me anymore, so probably thrift not store. gonna be the case. Thrift store, baby, thrift store. I will try and look better, store. but not a suit. I won't ever look as good as Johnny, you know? He needs to be the good looking one in the crew. <laughs> yeah, he has that title. <laughs> The MCW says, these influencers are so problematic and bad role models for these younger gen. If they're not partying during the pandemic, they're exploiting other people or animals. I don't know why people follow them. I'll just stick to the real influencers like doctors, nurses, scientific researchers, teachers. Very true, I mean, why do we give these like literal teenagers platforms? Let's really give people that deserve it a platform, AKA Dr. Mike, love him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Mia Walker says, you can just see the friendship between the hosts, it's wonderful. We just have so much fun filming, you know, the roundup. It's the one day a week where we all get to be in the same video. So it's yeah. super fun. We got a cool crew here. Then Lisa Dixon says, the cream in the Oreo is the best part. I love the most stuffed Oreos. <laughs> no. You, I, I love your opinion though. You. <laughs> you listen, we, all, we are all entitled to our own opinions. Some opinions may be like incorrect, but we're all entitled to them. No, love you, Lisa. All right, guys, thanks so much for those comments and for all your support on our videos. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. And I've been your other host, Brie Room. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. Have fun. Thank you. Harry, stop. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Am I good now? Yeah. All right. And Charlie D'Amelio slams critics. We've got the tea on these three. We've got the tea on, what? I'm sorry, I'm so <laughs> far away, I can't see the end of the freeze. We're still in a pan, mm -hmm. we're still in a pandemic. Police, I can't read today. Oh, what, that got caught up there a little bit. Oh crap, okay, this happens sometimes. Do you know how to fix this? You have to like make the font smaller or something in the actual text though.